World War I started with classic mobile warfare that was carried out in open terrain. But the great improvements in firepower from the modernization of weaponry forced troops to seek cover and concealment. This is when troops began to use trench warfare as the common tactic to block the enemy and to wear down or destroy him by using heavy artillery fire. World War I started with classic mobile warfare that was carried out in open terrain. But the great improvements in firepower from the modernization of weaponry forced troops to seek cover and concealment. This is when troops began to use trench warfare as the common tactic to block the enemy and to wear down or destroy him by using heavy artillery fire. Life in the trenches for soldiers was far from safe and comfortable. They had horrible living conditions due to the harsh weather and filth that they were living in. Many diseases were caused by these harsh conditions and by the rats and lice that infested the trenches. Soldiers not only died from battle wounds or rifles in the war, but they also died from numerous amounts of diseases that were widely spread throughout the trenches. These diseases include Trench foot The rotting of the skin around the toes and the foot from standing in a wet or damp area for long periods of time. More serious cases of trench foot led to soldiers amputating their foot. Trench nephritis. This was the inflammation of the kidneys, and it had no real cause, but it led to the casualties of 35,000 in the British forces and 2,000 in the American forces. Shell shock. Shell shock was a term that was coined for how soldiers reacted to the trauma of war. There were so many soldiers suffering from shell shock that 19 British military hospitals were fully devoted to serving men with shell shock. Many diseases led to large-scale problems that required medical personnel. This caused significant losses of manpower. The stench in the trenches was an appalling reek given off by numerous conflicting sources. Some of the sources were rotting carcasses, men, who didn't have the luxury of a bath for weeks or months and stagnant mud. Men had no latrine, no garbage disposal, no place to sleep, and nowhere to go. Some soldiers had to fight in the trenches from the time of two weeks to two months, depending on the time of war and which job they had. By the end of war, both the Eastern Front and the Western Front had dug at least 12,000 miles of trenches. At their peak, trenches built by both sides were nearly 400 miles long. The trenches extended from North Sea and continued through Belgium and France.